Hello everybody, it's Scott Orris and today I'm bringing you a review of G.I. Joe Retaliation's Roadblock. Okay, so basically this is the first um, Hot Toys G.I. Joe figure that I have. He looks pretty awesome. Um, I've seen some reviews on him and I can honestly say this is a figure that I bought because I've seen the review and also because, you know, it's The Rock and it's Roadblock. So without further ado, let's get into this review. Okay guys, so here's the box. Um, there is actually a lot to this. As you guys can see, it's The Rock, Dwayne Johnson right here. Um, really, really nice. This is the actual um, actor who played him in the movie. So this isn't the figure, just a little still of him they put on the front. Um, nice little box art right there. Reads G.I. Joe Retaliation, then has Roadblock and you know the movie version of him, and which is really, really nice. And then if we turn it to the side, you know, right there, it just has an R with, um, I guess you could stand for Roadblock or The Rock, and that's pretty cool. So, you know, some cool action right there. It has some desert scene. And then on the back, it has another R, which reads Roadblock, 1-6 scale collectible figure, MMS199. And then at the bottom, it has all the little choking hazards and whatnot to watch out for. So, yeah, don't give to small kids. And then to the other side, it has another R, which is pretty amazing. You know, that little R stands for Roadblock or The Rock, I guess, if you wanted to. And then we get into this little cover. This is actually a slip cover, so you actually can just slip this right off. And ugh, it reveals the back. So the slip cover is actually on backwards. Um, so we'll just go, get on to the back. The back is actually another picture of Roadblock. Um, not the figure, just the actor. And it just shows him, um, black and white, and has a little crossbones right there, and skull. And you guys can see some of his little tattoo, his tattoos right there, and you know his vest in the back of the head. And then at the bottom, it reads Roadblock again, and you know all the people who helped made it, make the figure. And then it has that nice little GI Joe pinstripe right there, and that's pretty cool. And then if you turn it to the front, there is Roadblock himself with all his many accessories and stuff that comes with them. And it looks freaking awesome. I'm just have to put them down real quick. And you guys can just see all the accessories in there. Um, you know, he looks really, really awesome. Comes with instructions, whatnot, his guns, and all the other stuff. And then if you turn to the side, another pinstripe. And then nothing really much to that. Just keeps reading Roadblock on the bottom. And then on this side... G.I. Joe Retaliation, and then on the other side, it reads Roadblock again, so that's pretty cool. So let's get into this guy and open him up. Alright guys, so here we have Roadblock out of box, and he looks amazing, um, very, very movie accurate, all his weapons are amazing, we're going to have to get into that. Okay guys, for his first weapon, I have his heavy machine gun, and this thing is amazing, um, Hot Toys, you guys did some great work onto this guy, or on, the, on his machine gun, I should say. And it's just awesome. Um, it comes with a lot of detail. And let's just jump into this. So for first off, for some detail, um, you actually can lift this up. And um, I mean articulation as well. You can lift this up. And bam. Oops, his little ammo thing came out. But we'll just leave that out. So it comes. this thing can open up and it can reveal all the little springs and whatnot. So basically, you can actually take his ammo and click it into here. And actually pull this thing back if you want to get movie accurate with it. Pull this thing back and, you know, cock it and whatnot. And then you can actually put that back down. And then he has a little scope that goes on top of it, which is really awesome. And then he has a little piece right here that I forgot to show you where he can actually hold the machine gun. You just flip that piece up. You can hold the machine gun just like that. Or if you want, you can hold it on two hands. And then he has this little... um the mount to um, actually, you know, sat it on the ground or have him lay on the ground and have the machine gun mounted. So that's pretty cool. And then he has this one piece. And I actually believe that this piece is when you lift it up and the barrel gets hot to let it air out or whatever. So, yeah, you can lift this up and put that back down, you know, either way you want it. So I guess you got to actually want him to shoot it like that to block bullets or whatever. But I don't really think that's what it's for. So, yeah. And then just the detail overall is really good. And here's his ammo pouch. Like I said, um, it has some bullets and whatnot. And it's just one ammo pouch and actually just you slide it in to the bottom and it doesn't click in. Mine just seems to fall out a lot so that kind of sucks. And you can actually just put it in there and then kind of um, just click it down. And just sometimes it'll click down, sometimes it won't, just depending on the way you have the bullets in there. And yeah, the ammo pouch is, you know, pretty cool in there, pretty sturdy, but mine is kind of loose. I have to figure out a way to um, tighten that up. So, you know, not a big deal. So it is removable, and, you know, you guys can take the bullets out too. Um, the bullets is like about this long, so it's not a lot of bullets. Like, it's not filled to the top, but, you know, there are some bullets. And it's just, you know, soft, rubbery plastic, if you guys can see this. 
give you better luck right there you guys can see um it's like soft rubbery plastic and you know this is like some skinny plastic so you might have to be um careful with this but there is some articulation in that so where you can move it back and forth and that's pretty cool and this is actually a pretty cool gun so on to the next weapon okay for the next weapon he comes with this cool 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 gun um i believe it is a glock for me i would say it's a glock but you know, having this pi this piece on, I would say it would be a, m a machine pistol. But the thing about this gun is you can actually have, there are some removable parts and some articulation in it. You guys can actually remove this piece, uh, and slide that off and put that to the side. So now you have a Glock with a suppressor on it and that's pretty cool. And if you don't want to have it go silent, you guys can actually remove the suppressor piece just like that and bam, you have a cool standard Glock that, you know, all military or some military and some cops that use and that's pretty cool and the also cool thing about it is it's all black and it has a little bit of gray in it and if you guys want to cock it back you guys can actually can it's like actually spring has a spring in there so that's pretty cool so you guys can cock the gun back and forth so that's pretty cool and if you want to take out some bullets you guys can actually just remove the clip uh, trying to get that oops and you can just remove it like that that was such a struggle and bam you can actually move the clip and yeah and if you guys want to put it all back together you guys can actually put the clip back in slide the clip in then get this front piece on like so and actually just slide that part on so now you can actually have just a machine pistol if you want it and then if you want to go silent you can have a silent machine pistol and you can actually just peg this in but be sure to watch out because this piece on the peg is really really skinny so it will really be hard to actually um peg in sometimes and you don't want to break it because it was like and then you want to have a suppressor so basically this is a suppressor gun that he comes with um you know a glock machine pistol suppressor i guess and you know these some nice black um the black is nice um you know there is some type of weathering on there but you guys can't really see it on my camera but there is some weathering on it and then you know just the standard shiny glossy um glossy paint for the um, barrel inside so that's pretty cool and then also I don't know if I showed you this the bullet on the clip are actually painted so that's pretty cool if you guys can see that the bullets are painted so you can just put that back in and on to the next okay one. guys so this will actually be kind of complicated for the next weapon he actually have these two little handle pieces which actually turns into multiple weapons which is pretty cool so basically what you want to do is they actually sit on his belt just remove one uh, I'll remove this one and basically here's the handle piece and the handle piece you know pretty cool I'll try and zoom in on that or clear it up so here's the handle piece and it's pretty cool um you know it can actually attach to a lot of things um, as you guys can see on the front I don't know if you guys can see this but up there there is a peg hole right there and then on the front piece right there there's a little peg hole that you guys aren't able to see but there is a peg hole uh it fell out my hand um there is a peg hole so that's pretty cool and what you want to do is you there are these little slots on the side of him um, which actually holster guns or whatnot and you guys can actually remove them and bring them forward so you guys can see that these actually sit on the side and if you want you guys can actually slide this onto the bottom and boom you have a machine pistol just like the one I showed you um, this one I would say is way more detailed than this one um, just because I'm just looking at it and this one has way more detail but the thing about this one is um, the clips are not removable and um, there's no muzzle flash and there um, isn't no cock back actions for where you can actually um, shoot that um, or um, cock it back or whatnot. So you actually can take that back apart, just sliding that down, take this out, and then just slide that back in if you wanted to. So that would be one of his guns. And then also, here's the same piece again. He actually comes with a knife on his chest piece, which I will try to remove for you. All right, so here is the um, handle piece again. So I'm removing the mini chest blade, and basically what you can do is you actually can peg this in on the top, like so. Um, I guess if you wanted, um, I'm not sure if that's the way it goes, but um, there is a little peg hole for this um, blade piece. He has two different blade pieces. Um, for this blade piece, you actually can peg this one in, and it just... Uh, I can't really find the hole and it just kind of pegs in like that and that's pretty cool and then if you don't want it right there you can just take that out and then go and actually take out another blade which I will show you and okay guys so here is his second blade um this one is actually longer than the first and if you guys didn't want the um little blade on there you guys can you just peg this in like so and boom he has this cool little knife and then again if you guys wanted that little blade in there you guys can actually tag this in and boom he has two 
um, two cool knives, and it would just be awesome. Um, like a double kill weapon, you know, whatnot. And then I actually have to figure out what this blade goes to because I really can't figure it out. I'm guessing you guys can take this blade out if you wanted to. Just shimmy that out a little. And then you guys can take this little blade and actually just peg it in. I would say you guys could peg it in like that, but I'm not too sure on that because it just doesn't look right to me. Um, I guess you guys could leave it in there like that. It would be pretty cool. You know, a little dagger up top, but um, I wouldn't say do it. It could fall out or not. So you guys can actually take that out and put those weapons back. Okay, guys, if you guys don't want any of those knives, blades, machine pistols, or sh shorter blades, you guys can actually take off this cool little baton on his bag, pat on his back, and uh, it keeps falling off. You guys can take this, um, and you guys can actually peg this in, like just shimmy it in there. Uh, gotta find a little peg and you guys can actually have a baton for anyone who is resisting arrest that he can just beat the crap of out of and that'd be cool and if you guys want to do some overkill you guys can take that little miniature blade that i showed you guys earlier and stick that in there and boom you guys have some overkill you know cool little baton with a little miniature knife so stab hit stab hit stab hit stab and once you're done with this little handle piece you guys can actually just go back and insert this back onto his belt which it would just stay right there um, depending on how you position it. Sometimes they fall out, sometimes they don't. Both sides are the same, so if you guys want to see some quick comparison, I'll just take them back out real quick, like so, and boom, they're both the same little piece. Uh, let me focus this for you guys. And boom, they're both the same little piece, handle um, things, and yeah, they both can lock onto the knives, the machine pistols, and the baton on his back, so that's pretty cool. And yeah, so these are them, and we can just put these guys back into Roadblock's um, holsters, just like this. So you just drop one in. So you just drop that one in, and then you guys can get this one, and drop this one in, and boom. They just sit back on his um, belts, just like so. You know, they are kind of loose, so they can fall out, and the little um, swiggles things on them, they're kind of loose too, so they will kind of fall out a little bit. So yeah. Okay, and the last part, our final part, or close to the last part, let's get into detail. This guy is looking amazing. He looks exactly to me like Dwayne The Rock Johnson or um, the movie character Royal Block. Um, I don't know if you guys can see, but somewhere up on his head, there are like all these little miniature veins right there. If you guys can see that, there are veins on his head, so that's pretty cool. And you know, the likeness to this guy is really nice, you know, nice bald head. And just it looks exactly like um, the actor who played him, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. So that's pretty cool. And you guys can just get that look right there. Just trying to turn him around with one hand. And you guys can see they did a great job on the face of work. And that little nice, you know, cool down chill look. So you guys can take him as mad or you guys can take him as, you know, regular. And yeah. So then we get back onto his vest. His vest is freaking amazing. Um, You know, it's just right on. You know, it holster his blades. Um, you know, it just has a nice little R right there, which is really nice. All these licensed straps and whatnot, and you just can turn it around, and you guys can see the back of it, too, if you want. So here's the back of it. It looks pretty, pretty nice. has a nice little crossbone right there, if you guys can see that. That's really nice. And all these nice little straps and whatnot, so that's pretty cool. If you guys can see, nice, really shiny, 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 so that's pretty nice. And then you guys can just see it again. <laughs> And before we move on to anything else, he actually has his tattoos underneath his shirt. Um, I'll try and show you, but most likely uh, by the end of the video, I won't be able to show you because it's just, I heard it's a pain to take off his jacket and put it back on and do all that stuff. And yeah, so basically he has his Simone tattoos, um, if you guys can see that. Um, it's a good job that Hot Toys did, so that's pretty cool. And then on the other side, if you guys can't see, he actually has the bull tattoo from when he was a wrestler, which is pretty nice if you guys can see that. So that's pretty cool. Um, they did a great job on that. You know, put some nice red in there for the eyes, and that's pretty and cool. And then as we get lower on the figure, you guys can actually see his cool pants and whatnot and all the straps and stuff. Um, that's really, really nice. And then just the boots and the knee pads. And I just like that because all the details really cool. And his stand that says Roblox. And we can go back up with it. His nice um, weather shoes, by the way. And he has all the nice block, um, straps and buckles and all that stuff. A harness where you actually run a rope through that if you wanted to. There's like a little ring piece where you can run a rope through. And that nice little harness. And you know where he can store all his weapons. And that's pretty cool. And his vest, again, is really, really nice. And there goes his face. 
and then there goes the back piece again which is really really nice um you know the nice little pouches and whatnot um you know his pants his hardness um those little hanging pieces i don't really know what these are for so they're just hanging there and that's pretty cool and then you have his harness again his holsters and whatnot and then his stand and then you get to the bottom and you have his boots and his stand again or his base plate and his little um rig that holds him up so that's okay cool. guys let's get into articulation basically his head is on a ball joint it can go 360 um you know it can actually go 360 you guys can tell if he's kind of looking up and he's kind of looking down he has some rubbery plastic up here but it's like kind of hard so it's not like you can really make his head like you know go side to side and i wouldn't want to even do that even if he could um his arms are actually on ball joints so that's pretty cool then you have a little swivel joint right here too so where they can go back and forth and that's pretty awesome then they can actually bend at the elbows and that's pretty cool and you know they have um double joint right there so that's pretty cool and then you get to his hands. His hands are actually on, you know, some type, not a really ball joint, but, um, you know, they can go in and out. And then you can twist them so they can keep going in and out. And, you know, they're on swivels and ball joint, I would say, again. And then, you know, both hands, by the way. So that's pretty cool. Then he has these little ball joints right there. And then on the waist, he has some articulation to where he can move. Um, I would say he can go 360, but I'm not going to test that out because just because I don't like doing that with my figures. But if I would have to say, since it's a hot toys, he can go 360. And he has some motion of where he can look down and up, so that's pretty cool. And then when you get to the knee joints, um, I'm pretty sure that they might be double, but they might be single. I'm not sure. So we'll just test this out right now. So here's his leg joints. And, oh, okay, there goes one. Yep, it is double. So yeah, he does have double um joints right there. So that's pretty cool. And as you get further down to his feet, you know, I would say ball jointish. They can go back and forth, and you know, a little wiggle room side to side. So you know, Hot Toy still does that. And then you know, with the other leg, it can go back too, and then you know, side to side, and then can go 360 if you wanted to. Also, guys, he does come with these interchangeable hands. If you guys can see this. Um, let me focus on here. You know, I kept him in plastic, so he has a closed fist hand, actually two closed fists, and two, I would say, kind of trigger hands and relaxed hands. So this will be the relax for that arm, and this will be the trigger hand for that arm because the relax is on that one and the trigger is on that one. So, you know, they got them, and then they got the extra pegs. And then for some last la accessory, he comes with this cool black t-shirt. I think he wore in the movie. Um, just a black t-shirt, nothing really to it. I would say maybe a dry fit shirt, like, you know, the sporting kind, but it's actually kind of stretchable and it's really, really nice, but I don't think I'll ever display him with this black shirt on, but it's kind of cool to have around. All right, guys, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed this review on Hot Toys Roadblock. Um, I would say I'll give this figure a 10 out of 10. He's really freaking awesome. And if you guys are enjoying these reviews, please comment and tell me what you guys think. Also, please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Um, thank you guys very much. I like doing these reviews. I hope you guys are liking them too. Peace out. Joe against Cobra and Destro fighting to save the day. He never gives up, he's always there, fighting for freedom over land and air. G.I. Joe, G.I. Joe. Have not subscribed? Go subscribe now, Jabroni, or I will have to come to your house and lay a smackdown on you.